Hey, it's Andy from Fence Post, Vinyl Blog, and Music Blog, and today I'm in a different shirt. It's my Bowie shirt, and it's also early morning. So rather than my glass of wine, I've got my French press coffee. Just last week, Phil Elverum from Microphones and Mount Erie dropped a 19 and some change video on YouTube that is a kind of pseudo documentary called There's No End. I figured to cover it, it would be fitting to look at the last Microphones album, Microphones in 2020. Do a quick unboxing and share some additional thoughts on this album. It should be no secret that I am a fan of Phil Elverum's music particularly Mount Erie. I associate deeply with it as it has this ethereal quality to it that goes really well with Elverham's home area in Northwest Washington, in particular kind of the Anacortes, Puget Sound Islands, San Juan Islands area. That's a theme that resonates throughout There's No End. So I love the description that Elverham has in the video for There's No End, and I think it's a really great kind of peek behind the curtain into the life of a creative musician who has been very public in terms of that creativity, but very private in terms of his life. States Elverham in the description, our lived moments aren't the art project, but a picture of our little world with its everyday light and shadows the place where we actually live. Coffee and oatmeal on a school morning, talking again about death and jokes and emptiness. So let's take a look at Microphones in 2020. This album was the fifth and supposedly final studio album by Elverham's Microphones. The interesting thing about that is, is it was also the first album that he has released under that moniker in 17 years. He's been recording under Mount Erie since 2004. Let's look in the cover. I love the art, Elvrum front and center, you know, very Pacific Northwest, very much the style of Phil Elvrum's work. I'm not sure I've actually opened this in the close to year and a half that I've owned it. You see a young Elvrum here, which is kind of symbolic on the album, which seems to be very retrospective kind of growing up over the years and the back. Of course, you can see the lyrics kind of in that center column there. Now it does come with an insert and it's very much in line with what Elverham said about the album, which I will quote, Elverham described as a lyric video, a slideshow, a PowerPoint presentation, a flip book, and a documentary. Sounds kind of familiar, right? in terms of there's no end. So, <laughs> it's the lyrics. Now, Microphones in 2020 is a bit of a concept album in that it's on a double LP, three sides, yet it is one single song from which the album gets its name. It's really hard to listen to this album on vinyl without pulling out that lyric sheet and reading along. Coffee break. Once again, very symbolic of microphones and Mount Erie and Phil Elverham. And there's side three. Now, some people would balk at a three-sided LP not having anything on the fourth side, but I mean, really, come on. The music itself is great. It is a bit reminiscent of microphones and their work, but it's also very reminiscent of Elverham's work with Mount Erie. He pulls it back, strips it down, and gives it a very minimalist nature, which I think works really, really well. Now this album was released on August 7 of 2020. Microphones originally began in 1996 
And Elverum kind of retired that name in 03 as he transitioned over to Mount Erie. But within that time, he gained quite the cult following. Now, it's not the first time that Elverum has returned under the microphone's name, just the first as a new studio album. He returned in 2019 to play a live show, which obviously sparked questions about the return. That's not the first time that he's returned with the microphone's name in a live setting since retiring it originally. He came back in, I want to say 2009, 2010, something along there. I'll have to look it up and maybe I'll drop the link in the description notes uh, for the closing show for Department of Safety, which was an underground music venue in Anacortes. Now, looking back at microphones in 2020, looking at There's No End, I see a lot of parallels in these works. Both are very nostalgic. What you see that's a little bit different with There's No End is he really looks forward. It kind of centers around his experience over the last several years. And it puts a very positive spin on his life and where he is right now, given there's been so much coverage on the darkness and, and tragedy that has surrounded his life circa A Crow Looked at Me. Overall, I think this is a brilliant album. The concept I love and adore. I think that more bands should think outside the box when they create music. And Elverum does that time and time again. It makes him one of the more unique artists out there and one who really has created something of their own that is kind of untouchable. I'm Andy from the Fence Post Music and Vinyl Blog. Check out the link in the description where you can go read more about this, along with all kinds of other things that I have in the works. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. All the links are in the description. I hope to see you there, and I'll see you next time.